Well, Mr. Mr. Rhodes did a pretty good job setting up that main event at Forbidden Door. As long as everybody could hang in there for the other 14 matches you had to watch to get through it, that was a long day. It was. I mean, and, and in fact, he and I talked about a little bit. He even he felt it was a little long. Adding the the Kyle Fletcher and Serpentico match, the only thing I could figure was because Kyle Fletcher lost the Ring of Honor TV title in Mexico at, um, I think it was a AAA show. So maybe they wanted to give him a little face time. I don't know. It it wasn't it wasn't one of those things that was really hanging on a story. So I'm trying to figure out why. Why else would they put a 15th match, put a fifth match on the pre-show? Yeah. You know, I, and I wonder if part of it is, you know, I'm, I'm sure everybody's getting bonuses too, for being on these pay-per-views. And I wonder if Tony's just being nice. You know, that, that, that is that, is that a possibility that he's just like, you know, look, you guys get bonuses if you're on the pay-per-views and I'm trying to be cool and give you guys extra money. I, is that, is that a thought? I, it's I, I wouldn't put it past Tony. Um, it, I I don't know. I'll be honest. I I really don't know because you know, again, I, you you had uh, you had of course two trios matches with the elite and um uh uh, uh what was it oh um and the acclaimed and and the acclaimed and and and, and Tom Hodge. Uh, and then you had, you also had the, uh, what was it? Six it man, was Joe hook Shibata. And that's uh, right. And the, the, and the Jeff Cobb. Tree. Right. So I don't know. I, 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 I don't well, you, well, you had that house of black, that, that, that four way tag match on the, in the pre-show too. I mean, probably seven of these matches could have been on dynamite and collision. I mean, real, I, realistically, I dare say, I, I think outside of Swerve and Osprey, think all of them could have been wow well you know, it, there were there were some people crushing some of these matches too i mean there were some really good ones on there and there were some ones that were ah, well you and, know i don't know i mean it was overall it was a good card but it, it's just i one thing i think that i think i'd like tony to realize at some point is you know you have to first be emotionally invested in a match right mm -hmm. so if you're not emotionally invested in it it's just two people or four people going out there and doing a wrestling match. So you're going to, you're going to have people that are not in the fans aren't that interested. So the crowd's dead. So that doesn't look good. Yeah. And you know, that's, that's a problem when you have dead spots for a crowd, but then you're taking people on such a roller coaster all the way through and you're doing it for five hours. You know, the average people can't handle that. No, you know? so so even if you have a great match at match 13, you know, it's, it's, everybody's just exhausted. You know, there's only so much you can take. So it's, it's kind of a double whammy there. It's either, you know, if either a, you don't care or B you're just tired, you know, it's just a bad look. And, you know, maybe that's part of the reason sometimes people are saying, well, the crowd's dead or not quite into it. Well, you know, you're, you're taking them too many places too long and that's got to make it hard for everybody and then that shows to the audience and then you know when you're if you're watching this at home you're saying well those people don't care why should i care and then it kind of spreads to everything so you know i i think this is a big problem they've got to fix